So this is going to be my next project. I'm going to be decorating the children's room of my friend's house. Um, so I'm going to be painting two walls. So this wall and the wall opposite. Uh, for this wall, it's going to be pink with white daisy flowers all over it. And then for the opposite wall, I'm going to be doing like a big pink boho rainbow. Um, yeah, so all these are going to be done by hand. So I don't know, wish me luck. Um, I guess over the next couple of days, we'll see how good my painting skills are. So to draw my rainbow, I actually used a nail and a piece of string and a pencil. And um, by doing this, I can draw like a circle, um, like the circle part of the rainbow easily and make sure that every, um, every line is kind of like at the same curve. Um, yeah, so it took a couple of trial and errors to get like the placement right of where I wanted the rainbow to start and end and how thick I wanted each uh, line and each gap. So for my rainbow, I'm going to have four straps. Um, so for the straps, I used about a six inch distance and for the gaps, I have about two inch. So it's six, two, six, two, six, two, and then a six over here. Um, I decided to kind of offset the rainbow to um, the side of the room instead of like in the center to make her look kind of less perfect and symmetrical um, so for my rainbow also I made the the origin like the zero point of the circle kind of elevated from the ground so um, what I'll do now is I'm going to take a laser leveler and just draw straight lines from these points down to the ground so the rainbow is not just going to be like a half circle it's going to be like half circle and then like like um extend downwards if that makes sense for painting is um, I always get paint on my shirt so um, I'm tired of like painted shirts so I'm actually wearing my shirt now inside out so this is the inside and so if I get paint on it then who cares so this is a good way to like um, not destroy your clothes 